99 US dollars for a Focus Odin 5 F3 returned Amazon printer. Well, that sounds already like a very sketchy video, but I can tell you it's not. I'm going to tell you all about my second Odin 5 F3 3D printer that I bought from Focus as an Amazon return. Now, what can you expect here on Zachary's 3D prints? So a few weeks ago, I saw in a Facebook message, Focus was advertising about a 99 US dollar 3D printer, a returned 3D printer. They didn't say where it came from, but I was like, you know, 99 US dollars for a printer that I already have. But what can you expect? Is it a great deal or are there some, you know, little snakes under the grass, something like that? Because in Dutch we say adertjes onder het gras. But I was like, this 3D printer normally costs almost $300. Can I trust this? Because this is just a third of the price. So I bought this machine and within one half a week, I had this machine inside. I received it and I was going, you know, heads down, uh, heads up, uh, heads left, right. I don't know. I started with, uh, you know, unboxing and assemble and prepare the 3D printer. But I noticed something when I pulled the 3D printer out of the box because the brand new Odin 5 F3 is usually wrapped around the middle part to keep the gantry, you know, level with or level uh, equal to, to the base of the Odin 5 F3. I was like, okay, it's a return, so I can expect something like that. So I pulled it out and, you know, the styrofoam was on the sides. So I took them off and I noticed the first thing. On the left side, you have a lead screw and the lead screw has a little, a lead screw holder on the top with a, with a bearing and that one was bent. So I was like, Oh, what is this? So I took, during the assembly, I took a plier. I just bent it a little bit. I was like, okay, so the, the screw just, you know, it's kind of loose, like the other side, like the other Odin 5 that I have. So I was not worrying about that. I just assembled the gantry on the side of the base, you know, that it will keep, you know, square to the base. And I noticed on the back side that on the left side, where also this bracket was bent, I also saw something missing. Focus have also for the inner wheels, they have a little holder with a spring and a little axle where the middle, the, the inner uh, V-slot wheel is attached to. That one was broken because I saw that the, the wheel was a little bit bent or well, the wheel itself was not bent, but I saw that it was not inside of the V-slot from the extrusion. I got into Thinkercad and I designed a other bracket. Uh, this one was the prototype. This one didn't fit. So I had to redesign it a little bit. I will put the link in the description of this video. If you have something like that and you need a little adjustment, you need to maybe adjust it a little bit more. I just filed it a little bit and also made the hole a little bit bigger. Eventually, when I assembled that part, it is a spring loaded and the axle, it was not going in very smooth. So I had to put all my strength into it to get it inside. But eventually, that issue was solved. So I was like, hey, huh, if these things are the only things, hey, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm very lucky. I'm like, okay, cool. This is what I like to see. After that, I checked if, if everything else on the 3D printer was looking fine. The movement just seems to look right, feel right. For the heated bed uh, frame, there was the, this V-slot wheel that I had to adjust a little bit, you know. You take a wrench and you adjust it with the eccentric nut until everything is very sturdy and moving very smoothly. So then I started up the printer. I checked the movement for the, the Y axis, for the X axis, and of course for the Z axis. Everything seems to working fine. So I was like, hey, Zachary, that is in the pocket. 99 US dollar 3 printer with only a broken bracket and a Benz lead screw bracket. So I was like, hey, that is cool. So I started heating up the 3D printer in order to load the filament 
and starting my first print. And then during the heating of the bed, I noticed something. The thermistor didn't register any heating up. I still saw 23 degrees, 24 degrees Celsius for the bed and the bed kept cold. Even after two minutes, three minutes, I didn't see anything, you know, increasing from temperature. So there something was wrong. Then I took a few Allen keys. I flipped the printer over to take the cover off and see what was wrong. On the main board, I couldn't see anything. There was a little smell and on the SD card, I did see some decoloration or a little bit different color, but I didn't pay attention at all. I was like, okay, what is wrong? I took a multimeter and I started measuring all outputs for, for the electronics from the main board to the heated bed. And I noticed that although the printer was heating up or the bed supposed to be heating up and I didn't see any voltage from my multimeter. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to heat up the nozzle and check if some current is going through the wires to the hot end. So there I did see a reading of 23.9 or 23.8. So that was okay, but the heated bed didn't heat it up. I checked the whole board and when I screwed the board out, I felt something odd on the board, normal, PCB boards, normal circuit boards have this little tacky feeling or a little sticky feeling and I didn't feel that. I, I felt like something else was wrong. So I smelled it again and I smelled some electrical burn, but I smelled something that it was not totally correct. I took the heated bed of the 3D printer, flipped it over and I saw on the back side of the printer, I saw some little indents in the PCB or in the, in the circuit that is underneath the heated bed. My guessing was that this printer, I don't know what exactly happened, but when the gantry was folded to the front, I think that the printer was dropped on the side where the uh, lead screw holder was bent and also pushing the heated bed against the uh, two screws from the heated bed frame, causing that this little indent went into the aluminum, causing a little a break between the one positive and the other one negative side. The whole circuit was uh, interrupted. When this printer is going to heat up, something should happen. Like on the uh, hot end, you will get a reading if you are going to heat up the nozzle and you measure it with your multimeter, you will see a reading of something less than 24 volts since the printer is a 24 volts board. After, after this discovery, I thought, okay, the bed is maybe some uh, damage and therefore not working. Since I had the Creality and the 3 heated bed over from the TikTok UE three belt printer project, I used that board. After the installation, I noticed that this board was also not heating up. So my suspicion of that this board from the Focus was damaged or was smelling weird, I think that this board was shorted. Because of this shorted, because the, the damage from the PCB on the backside of the heated bed also making a short in the circuit board and so therefore giving this non-heating bed. So I got in contact with Focus about this issue. It is a return. I know that there was no replacement possible, but there is a difference between a damaged 3D printer that because of that it was returned or a returned because the customer didn't want to have it because he doesn't like it or he is not happy with it or he has some other things. The good people of Focus sent me an other PCB board. I installed it and I didn't get anything. The board was good, but the heated bed was bad. Heated bed was bad. I know, it's a very bad joke, but okay. After a Saturday afternoon testing, I took my soldering iron and some solder and some flux, and I went into the soldering of the backside of this heated bed. So after filling the little dent or little breakage in the line, I tried it again. But now this time, before heating up the bed, I measured with the multimeter if there was resistance, yes or no, and I did get a reading. So it was safe to say, okay, now I'm going to heat up the bed and see what is going to happen. I switched on the printer one more time again, and I started heating up the bed 
and it did work. I am very happy with that because now I have a 99 US dollar 3D printer from Focus, the Focus Odin 5 F3, where I made my own brackets, repaired the uh, bent lead screw holder, and I fixed the, the heated bed issue. And now after several nice prints like this Shia, Benji, I know for sure that this 3D printer is working nicely as the other Focus Odin that I have that is working very nicely. So the conclusion, should you buy a Amazon returned Focus Odin 5 F3? If you are very technical and you already have a 3D printer and you have your skill around the electronics and you can tinker a little bit, 99 US dollars, I think it's not a bad deal for a 3D printer that is usually three times the price of 99 US dollars. And you have a second 3D printer or a third 3D printer. I'm not going to put any link in the description. It's an Amazon return. I don't know how many stock that they have, but if you are interested in a Focus Odin 5 F3 3D printer, you know the way. I'm not going to put any links in there. Maybe the link of the Focus official website where you can buy this 3d printer if you're still watching this video thank you you are amazing did you know that well now you know amazing thanks for the amazing patreon supporters and also the youtube members if you are interested in one of those well there's a patreon link in the description of this video you can also check out the youtube membership tiers i got three of them and if you don't want to support this channel on a monthly basis just one time, there is a thanks button. Thank you. And if you don't want to do that, just like, subscribe, and hey, I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.